Buhari set on war paths with former President Olusegun Obasanjo use a coalition of youths to speak back to him in the language he will understand. Says your plot to destabilize Nigeria will fail. The Youth Congress has warned Olusegun Obasanjo to leave Buhari and his government alone. My people, there is more to this than beneath the eyes. We reported to you again and again that Olusegun Obasanjo and then the Sultan of Sokoto, some other people, um, uh, uh, the former uh, head of state in Nigeria, some of them, they came together and they had a meeting. By the way, the meeting was today. Before now, he has been, you know, uh, calling on these people that they should do something together uh, and, you know, to be able to solve the pro current problem situation of the country that uh, Buhari is unable, things are going from bad to worse. Nigerians are being killed like flies and a lot more is going on. Guess what? Buhari has gone on now to form a new group call them uh, youth coalition. We don't know who they are. Definitely, they've been giving money and all that to say that uh, Olusegun Basanjo wants to destabilize Buhari's administration, his government, and that he will fail and they are ready for him. My dear, if this is no war, I don't know what other war means. Sending a warning to Muhammad, uh, to Obasanjo that he's trying to destabilize for speaking. So everybody should be quiet and watch him dance, play the music and dance the dance. Why Nigerians suffer? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Buhari starts war with Obasanjo. Plots sends youth to send sends youth to warn Obasanjo says your plot to destabilize Nigeria will fail. This is a warning. The National Youth Coalition for Better Nigeria on Wednesday claimed they have uncovered plots by former President Ulushegu Obasanjo to destabilize Nigeria. They assessed the former president. They are they accused the former president of having access to some persons to discuss series of secret meetings designed to interve intervene in Buhari's administration by inviting hate against Buhari and his administration. The group, while addressing a press conference at Prince Hotel Kano on Wednesday, accused President Obasanjo of plot to hold a meeting on Thursday with the sole objectives of destabilizing the country. Can you see what we are saying? The thing is in the north. And don't forget, Kano is where Ganduje is. Ganduje is Buhari's right-hand man. Ganduje is the one they saw collecting dollars and still won the election to become the governor for the second tenor in Kano state. Ganduje is the same person that somebody said Buhari should address, one of his aides said Buhari should address insecurity and straight away put him in prison. The guy, by the way, has run out of Nigeria because he said his life is on, on risk and is having asylum right now in the UK. UK government has given him asylum, proving that his life is, uh, is, under, is, is being threatened. Okay, so there's more to it. We'll come to that. But let's finish the news. The Youth Coalition National President Aliyu Wakali, Secretary General Kunku William, flag of top members, top journal told journalists that from intelligence they gathered, Obasanjo has plot to hold secret meetings with social organizations, CSOs, on Thursday with the aim of citing the people against President Muhammad Buhari's administration. Wakali, who spoke on behalf of the group, observed that though Nigeria was plunged into several challenges, particularly the insecurity challenge, the group has expected former President Olusegun Obasanjo and other leaders to brainstorm on how to tackle these challenges, rather than resorting to plots to disorganize the federal government because they simply don't like Buhari. According to Wakali, the group, which has over 65% representing the country, according to them, with their 65%, is appointed in the list, has been watching the activities of Olusegun Basanjo and his cohort in recent days. They also blame the insecurity on other trouble confronting Nigerians, Obasanjo, for instance, who should be leading the country and making sure the Southwest is okay to govern, is secretly plotting with some people to destabilize the country. The country has never had so much progress like it did now under PDP for 16 years nothing changed. Obasanjo led for 8 years and nothing changed now he wants to destabilize a well-meaning government. Wakali stated that Obasanjo bloodlessly created 
the problem that is now what that buhari is trying to sort out and the success of this depend on them giving their support rather than speaking to international mm -hmm. community and trying to cause problem for President Muhammad Buhari. He said, we've been watching the former president closely. He's urging people against, against Buhari, trying to destroy this country. The only enemy of this country are those who are joining hands with him to further damage the country. He's having meetings with governors, former presidents, and and traditional leaders from the north we are aware of this we've been watching them closely and if he does not apologize oh in a few days time instead of carrying out these wicked activities the plots will further be exposed can you believe that yes you just heard it so uh buhari has signed the war, war part with a uh, with a uh, obasanjo but he's not doing it directly okay so he's using people Okay, it's a plot. You, there's a way you do you you hey, use people to tell people that ah oh yeah well, you know what has been going on now. We worry does something that is wrong. He quickly calls, he pays some people some money, they release some millions. So yeah, you're gonna get the boys. Oh yeah, well, yeah, let them come come together. Say Buhari is the best. Buhari is the best, and I really pity them on a more serious note. On a more serious note, they are the ones that their family, everybody is being kidnapped. And because of, oh, poverty, poverty, you are a wicked something, poverty. Because of poverty, because there's no truth, no integrity, these values have not been instilled in, from, you know, in many Nigerians from young. So they grow up and anywhere they left face. And that's why you see people keep selling their betra just like, um, you know, uh, the two brothers, you know, Esau sold his bed right to Jacob. Why? Pot of porridge. It's still happening today. Where you sell your integrity because you want a, a job is the same you sell it. You had Esau in that situation. Why you want a pot of porridge? And what is the pot of porridge? I don't have a job, but this one is a golden opportunity. What is there? Is it not just to do this? Who so we know you have just sold your bed right. Remember that the day you sold it, you had a pot of porridge to eat. A day will come, you will need it, you will not find it. So he sought it with tears, he was crying, but it was not there. When he came to his father, he said, Father, is there nothing left? Not even one. Father said, sorry. Ah, so you have to work hard at it. When you are able to break the yoke from your, from your neck, the one your brother has, has put your brother, has made him lord over you, you sold it. So when you are able to break the yoke, that means you will labor for it, the way you sold it. Nigerians, things they will, Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.